بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سائڈ نمبر ون دیسٹ از آف اسسمنٹ اینڈ اویلویشن آف اسپیشل اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ پروگرام اس کیسٹ میں جو بھی نوٹس ریکارڈ ہوں گے جو میڈم ہمیرا نے ہمیں فرسٹ ٹو چیپٹر جو کہ کورس آؤٹ لائن کے فرسٹ چیپٹر کو کور کر رہے ہیں یہ اس میں وہ نوٹس ریکارڈ ہوں گے اس میں سے بہت کچھ بہت سا مٹیریل انہوں نے ہمیں پڑھا چکی ہیں وہ لیکن یہاں پہ وہ ان این آرگنائز وے یعنی منظم انداز سے ہمارے پاس آ جائے گا تو اس کو ہم دیکھتے ہیں کیا ہے یہ آل ایجوکیٹر اسیس دیئر اسٹوڈنٹ دے یوز انفارمل میتھڈ گیدرنگ ڈیلی انفارمیشن تھرو ورک شیٹ کوشچن اینڈ کوئزز فارملی دے مے ریگولرلی ایڈمنسٹر اسٹینڈرڈائز ٹیکس ٹو ڈٹرمن اے اسٹوڈنٹ پرفارمنس لیول دے یوز دیز ڈیٹا فار ویریس ایڈمنسٹریٹو اینڈ انسٹرکشنل ڈیسیجن ایجوکیٹر اور اسٹوڈنٹ وتھ ڈس ایبلٹیز اور اسپیشل ایجوکیٹر پرٹیکولرلی نیڈ اے وائڈ ورائٹی آف انفارمیشن اباؤٹ دیئر اسٹوڈنٹ جنرل ایجوکیشن از ڈیزائنڈ ٹو میٹ دا نیڈ آف ایوریج لرنر ویئر ایز اسپیشل ایجوکیشن سروسز آر ڈیزائنڈ ٹو میٹ دا انڈیویژل نیڈس آف اسٹوڈنٹ ود مور سویئر اسکول پرفارمنس پرابلم دیئر انسٹرکشنل پلانس مسٹ بی ہائیلی انڈیویژلائز which means that their teachers must have precise p r e c i s e precise information about what the students need in instructional terms and that is where assessment comes in about the uh, assessment educational assessment ki definition hai wo dekhte hain educational assessment of students with this abilities is the systematic process of gathering educationally relevant information to make legal and instructional decisions about the provision of special services the special educator pursues information that relates to the everyday concerns of the classroom However, educational assessment is also part of an interdisciplinary effort to understand the student's learning problem. It is performed a conjunction with the work of other professionals such as physicians, speech language clinicians and physical therapists. یہ سارا پیراگراف جو تھا وہ انڈر لائن کیا ہوا تھا نیکسٹ ہے ایجوکیشنل اسسمنٹ فوکس از مینلی آن دا مینی ایریاز آف لرننگ ان اسکول ایز ویل ایز اینی ادر فیکٹرز افیکٹنگ اسکول اچیومنٹ اکیڈیمک لینگویج اینڈ سوشل اسکلز آر ایگزامنڈ Environmental factors may also be considered along with analyzing the student's observable and measurable learning behavior and learning strategies. Educational assessment extends beyond school into areas of early childhood development and adulthood. The, the development of infants and young children in language, motor areas, cognition, social, emotional behavior and other skills is analyzed both individually and collectively for their impact upon one another. The transition of adolescents from the world of school into the adult work of sorry, into the adult world of work, careers, higher education 
and other adult issues requires careful scrutiny. S C R U T I N Y. This means what? Careful inspection. Educational assessment, testing, and diagnosis are related, but not synonyms. Testing elicits E L I C I T S. Elicit the responses of students to questions under structured conditions. Depending upon how structured the test is, the results of testing may include a variety of scores, a list of acquired skills, and so on. Testing is only one of many strategies used. in educational assessment to gather information about the special student ye sara paragraph bhi andar kiya hua tha next jo diagnosis ka padhne lage hain wo bhi underlined hai it means this is important diagnosis is a term borrowed from the medical profession and used in that context It refers to the effort to establish the cause of an illness and to describe the appropriate treatment. The condition is generally categorized with the label such as autism and the label implies the treatment. In contrast, educational assessment does not set out to establish causes assign labels to the student with disabilities or determine remediation it means the treatment uh, remediation based on the label if the student is labeled as having disabilities the label is given only to document eligibility for certain kinds of services and is not necessarily an indication of a cause of the learning problem furthermore educational assessment organizes programs for students with disabilities on the basis of demonstrated skill deficit rather than global syndromes or labels programs are based on needed services rather than the type of disability In other words special educators use assessment to determine that Jim has special needs in the area of reading rather than to say he is dyslexic uh, Ab next hai historical perspective Historical perspective mein हम तीन पीरियड्स को डिस्कस करेंगे पहला होगा अर्ली अर्ली पीरियड नेक्स्ट होगा क्रिटिसिज्म पीरियड थर्ड वन होगा बोन पीरियड और फोर्थ होगा रिल असेसमेंट पीरियड यानी हम यहाँ पे अब असेसमेंट की हिस्ट्री को पढ़ने लगे हैं कि असेसमेंट में असेसमेंट किन किन मराहल से गुजरी पास्ट में Educational assessment of students with disabilities has developed considerably over the past 80 years. It has been influenced by trends in many fields and shaped by many forces. While the measurement of personality and other psychological factors was a topic of study in the 19th century. The work of Alfred Binet and others led to the major development of assessment techniques during the first part of this century. Assessments were developed to meet a variety of needs including the screening of students in public schools and the evaluation of military personnel and potential. Employees These early efforts became the prototype. Prototype का मतलब होता है पहला नमूना. Became the prototype for many current groups and individual tests in psychology and education. 
द कंट्रोवर्सी ओवर द नेचर ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस ये जो पहला पैरा था यहाँ पे अर्ली असेसमेंट की गई हुआ की असेसमेंट कहाँ कहाँ पे होना शुरू हुई पहले अब नेक्स्ट है क्रिटिसिज्म पीरियड द कंट्रोवर्सी ओवर द नेचर ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस हैज अफेक्टेड असेसमेंट प्रैक्टिसेस यूज्ड विद स्टूडेंट्स विद डिसबिलिटी वन डिबेट सेंटर्स ऑन वेदर इंटेलिजेंस इज वन इंटाइटी इंटाइटी का मतलब होता है अलग वजूद स्ट्रक्चर ये एक डिबेट सेंटर कहता है क्या इंटेलिजेंस का अलग वजूद है और इज मेड अप ऑफ अट ऑफ फैक्टर सम टेस्ट अटेम्प्ट टू मैयर ऑफ वराइटी ऑफ फैक्टर्स दैट कंप्राइज इंटेलिजेंस दीज फैक्टर्स आर देन एनालाइज टू आइडेंटिफाई इंडिविजुअल ट्रेंड एंड वीकनेसेज विद इन द ग्लोबल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस Another cause for lively discussion has been the question of whether intelligence is changeable. Most professionals consider intelligence a product of the interaction between people and their environment, and therefore subject to change. अब यहाँ पे subject का मतलब मजमून नहीं बल्कि subject का मतलब condition है Educational assessment of students with disabilities now incorporates procedures that analyze the environment as well as the person's abilities. The field of medicine has had a profound effect on the development of educational assessment procedures. For many years, special education assessment practices used a medical model. An assessment merely yielded a diagnostic label such as mental retardation. It was assumed that a person with mental retardation would always remain that way, with no remedial action available in the classroom. Considerable progress has been made towards the development of an assessment model more relevant to educational concerns. Work in other fields is also being applied toward assessment in special education, tests of perception, study processing of information through various senses such as vision or hearing. Psychoeducational test batteries combine the analysis of psychological and educational factors. Applications of behavioral psychology have resulted in the use of many systems for behavioral observation of the students' environment, including a special interest in the curriculum and tasks with which the special student must deal. Other forms of informal assessments, like interviewing, have been borrowed and adopted from other fields such as anthropology and sociology. अब ये जो period था इस ऊपर discuss किया ये सारा boom period था. After World War II, services for students with disabilities grew tremendously with the subsequent growth in assessment procedures, particularly tests. Individual tests were developed in all academic areas and in language, social skills, and vocational skills. With the help of commercial companies, in addition, special educators and other professionals created informal procedures directly related to classroom needs. Criterion reference testing played a major role in linking assessments. and instructional programming unfortunately many abuses of assessment that company accompanied growth invalid and unreliable measures were used sometimes administered by untrained individuals some assessment was too narrow in nature some discriminated on the basis of the student's language cultural background etc Results were used inappropriately with students and erroneously labeled handicapped. The rights of 
students with disabilities and and of their parents to due process under law was quietly in 1975 cl 94142 greatly influenced and improved the content and procedures of assessment ab yahan pe reassessment period start ho gaya the changes introduced by cl 94142 are maintained in its most current amendment PR 101476 and the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act idea of 1990 The law mandates a set of due processes procedures as well as assessment guidelines to correct past problems Students with disabilities must be adequately assessed by a team and individualized education program IEP developed यहाँ पे मेजर फोकस जो है वो आई ई पी पे है कि आई ई पी वाला होना शुरू हो गया स्टेट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एजुकेशन मस्ट मीट फेडरल स्टैंडर्ड टू रिसीव फंडिंग फॉर स्पेशल एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम पी एल नाइनटी नाइन फोर सेट सिमिलर स्टैंडर्ड फॉर इन्फेंट एंड अर्ली चाइल्डहुड असेसमेंट current trends in the kind of services and teaching methods used with students with disabilities have also been influential in the development of assessment procedures services for students with many different kinds of disabilities require precise assessment procedures particularly for child with mild disabilities a particular challenge has been creating cultural affair sorry cultural fear procedures to assess the students from this diverse ethnic cultural and linguistic problems so the linguistic group is suspected of having a disability ab yahan pe linguistic ka wahi hai hai ki jis zuban ka jis culture ka bachcha hoga usi culture ka usi zuban ka jo test hai wo lazmi uske apply hona chahiye यानी किसी और जुबान में नहीं इसको असेसमेंट जो है वो पेरेंट्स के साथ उसी जुबान में रहा किया जाए बच्चे के साथ जिस जुबान का वो जिस कल्चर का वो है इन एडिशन करंट एफर्ट्स टू मेन सीन स्पेशल स्टूडेंट क्रिएट अ नीड फॉर रेगुलर टीचर्स टू हैव प्रोसीजर्स टू ऑब्जर्व एंड असेस दी स्टूडेंट educators of students with disabilities are held accountable for ongoing evaluation of learning the need to monitor student progress more frequently with less time and expense than standardized tests in this dissatisfaction with the standardized tests has created a demand for other kinds of assessment procedures the growth of criterion reference assessment curriculum based measurement and portfolio evaluation reflects this effort to clarify the re- relationship between assessment and instruction assessment information can be generated to develop goals and objectives in instruction applications of computer technology in terms of data gets gathering storage and use also shares assessment process major educational reforms sweeping the country are making profound changes in the assessment and evaluation of all school students including those with disabilities a great deal of weight is being placed upon the outcome based evaluation model as the basis for judging student performance deciding whether schools and teachers are functioning appropriately and uh, and even forcing fundamental changes in teaching methods and the structure of school the emphasis upon authentic assessment means that evaluation strategies are more functional holistic and contextual in terms of real life performance the incorporates the observation of groups of students solving the problem together followed by individual student response activities and the evaluation of a variety of items arranged in a portfolio 
The development of a national achievement tax is placing greater pressure on our schools to find legitimate ways to provide compa comparative data about the socialistic abilities of American students. In the midst of this national spirit of reform, the participation of students with disabilities is the source of particular study to ensure that they are not excluded and devalued while providing appropriate accommodation to guarantee valid and reliable evaluation. In summary, we can describe special educational assessment today in the following terms. Number one, assessment is tailored to the individual needs of each student with disability. Number two, Assessment data are used to make legal and instructional decisions concerning students with disabilities. Number three, assessment identifies educationally relevant information such as instructional goals and objectives. Assessment takes into account the characteristics of the general education curriculum and the strategies used to determine competence in that curriculum. The learning environment is evaluated as well as the student's response to questions and tasks. Number six, a variety of procedures are used in assessment, not only standardized tests. Number seven, assessment is characterized by a team approach and the special educator is an important member of that team. Number eight, professionals use non-discriminatory assessment procedures. Number nine, instructional programs are continuously evaluated or monitored. Number ten, procedures are available to attend to the assessment needs of preschool children and the transition and career vocational needs of older students and adults. Number eleven, new tests and other procedures to assess academic language and other skill, skill areas continue to be developed. And now the last number 12, computer, computer technology is being harnessed to facilitate test administration and scoring and the interpretation and reporting of assessment data. Uh, the purposes of educational assessment of handicapped students, we already पहले के सेट में रिकॉर्ड हो चुके हैं हम आगे देखते हैं काइंड्स ऑफ असेसमेंट प्रोसीजर्स मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ असेसमेंट प्रोसीजर्स आर अवेलेबल रिक्वायरिंग सॉरी रिक्वायरिंग वेरिंग डिग्रीज ऑफ एक्सपर्टीज सेवरल ऑफ दीज स्ट्रेटजीज विल बी एम्प्लॉयड इन एनी कंप्लीट एजुकेशनल असेसमेंट सम कॉम्बिनेशन Sorry, some com combinant or may be used in the initial assessment or they can be used individually to monitor program success. Number one is formal strategies. Formal tests are structured assessment procedures with specific guidelines for administration, scoring and interpretation of results. Non-reference non tests compare a student performance to that of a normative group. These tests may be group or individually administered and are available for most academic subjects. Their use is limited to students who assemble the group used as a norm in compiling the test scores. The directions for administration, scoring and interpretation of the tests are usually very explicit. E -S -T -L -I -C -I -T. The results may be expressed with a variety of quantitative scores such as grade, equivalent, standard scores and percentile rank. Information about the test statistical Validity and reliability is, is usually presented in the manual. The results from non-reference tests are used in a number of ways 
including documentation of eligibility for special education and related services and identification of general strengths and weaknesses in school learning. An assessment may be administered to a group of individuals or to one person. Group procedures usually penalize exceptional students. Such procedures are generally not recommended for this population because they require skills in reading, following direction and so forth. And handicapped students may not have. Thus the test may serve merely to screen that is to identify those students who may be handicapped. However, group tests do, not, do take much less time to administer than most individual tests. The two types of group tests most frequently encountered are achievement and aptitude tests. Students take these tests at, at regular intervals. Some of the major group achievement tests are the California Achievement Test 1977 to 1978. Comprehensive tests of basic skills 1981 to 1982 1983. The Metropolitan Achievement Test Ballot for FAWR for Hogan and Prescott 1978 1979 and the Standard Achievement Test Gardner, Rudman, Carlson, and Mar Marvin. 1982, 1983, 1984. These and other tests are used for screening, grouping and evaluating student progress and measuring curriculum effectiveness. For the handicapped students, they mainly serve to screen achievement in the areas measured. Since they are group administered, there is little opportunity to do careful analysis. Some of the major group aptitude tests are the tests of cognitive skills 1982 and Otis Lennon School Ability Test, Otis and Lennon 1979-1982 and the cognitive abilities test Thorndike and Hyden. 1978-1982. These require reading and other basic skills and serve to screen and identify students with a learning problem. Exceptional students are also apt to have relatively low performance on these kinds of tests. There are also many individual achievement and aptitude tests available. As will be dis discussed throughout the te this test, popularity is no guarantee of technical adequacy. Commonly administered individual achievement tests include the wide range achievement tests revised or Varat, R, Jastic and Wilkinson 1984 and the Peabody individual achievement tests or PIAT Gunn and Markward 1970. These tests contain items in the basic skill areas of oral reading, spelling and arithmetic. The PIAT offers a more comprehensive view of these skills and measures, spelling and arithmetic skills of different, differently from the Vrat R. The Woodcock Johnson Psychoeducational Battery, Woodcock and Johnson 1977, covers basic skills and content area subjects as well as the native abilities and students' interests. Individually administered tests supply many opportunities to probe skills and to observe the students under special conditions. For example, reading is measured with an oral response on both the Virat and the Piat. Various cues and prompts are not available in group assessment are supplied. Making these tests more useful with students with learning problems, 
Also, other individual tests can do in an in-depth probe of each academic For example, the Woodcock reading mastery tests, Woodcock 1973, are more detailed than either the PIAT and Virat are. The same features are evident in individual aptitude tests, the major individual aptitude tests used with schools, aged individuals, and in bachelor intelligence scale for children, revised for the risk. R. Wessler, 1974. The WISC R contains a combination of verbal and visual motor tasks. Different subjects of learning ability using various measures of reasoning and problem solving are included. Results can identify strengths and weaknesses in different skills. The Woodcock Johnson Psychoeducational Battery, Woodcock and Johnson 1977, also offers cognitive abilities tests as does the Cooper Cookman Assessment Battery for children. In most states, one of these measures must be given to obtain special services for the handicapped. A number of individual measures assess areas such as adaptive behavior, specific learning abilities, and classroom behavior. In addition, a variety of tests provide information about the student status in the acquisition of reading, mathematics and written language skills, as well as oral language development. These are formal strategies of next hair informal strategies. A variety of informal procedures are used in educational assessment to determine present level of performance. Document student progress and or direct instructional changes. A distinction is often made between the formal procedures just described and these less formal techniques. Formal procedures usually are standardized normative tests, administration, scoring, and interpretation procedures are clearly delineated. Formal tests yield many different kinds of scores, the majority of which provide information about the student standing in relation to other students. Informal procedures usually are less structured or structured differently from standardized tests. Inventories such as the traditional Friday spelling quiz or an arithmetic worksheet, worksheet fit into this category. There is an element of sub subjectivity, subjectivity in the administration scoring if they are scored as interpretation. Some are easy to administer but are difficult to design. Furthermore, interpretation is often difficult because of a lack of guidance, guidelines. However, while informal procedures lack the kinds of scores yielded by standardized tests, their results are relevant to instruction, data, or expressed in instructional terms. Informal assessment tools vary in how directly they measure student performances and instructional conditions. Some directly involve the student while others rely on informants. There are many types of informal assessment procedures, observations, work sample analysis, task analysis, informal inventories, criterion reference tests, and so on. In the one by one detail, but they have observations are used to study the exceptional student in the learning environment over a period of time in order to describe patterns of behavior, classroom behavior, interactions with peers and teachers, and other observable factors may be studied. The procedure can be used with any type of student for any purpose. 
but it is most often used to assess social skills. Test requirements vary depending upon how systematically the observations are conducted. The results are usually the number and the nature of the student's classroom behavior. They are frequently represented, represented in graph form. The quality of these observations depends upon such factors as how precisely the problem behavior is defined, how the data are gathered, and so forth. The information can be used to compose goals and objectives for instruction and in the observed skills. Next है work sample analysis ये दूसरी किस्म है उसकी informal strategies की. In work sample analysis is used to study the correct and incorrect responses made in a student's work. Work samples can be taken in any subject and for any student. Knowledge of typical errors is is required to use the strategy. The results are the number. Types and patterns of frequently made errors and successes. Because of the clear connection to the curriculum, the potential usefulness of the data is high. A teacher can use the information to establish goals and identify ways to modify instruction. Next is task analysis. Task analysis is used to identify the main components of a task and to work. and to arrange the necessary skills in an appropriate instructional sequence the procedure can be used with any student and can apply to any task task analysis becomes more difficult as the complexity of the task increases the teacher who develops the task analysis must have an excellent grasp of the nature of the curriculum task and skill hierarchy uh, hierarchy is some matlab hota hai persons or things arranged in a graded series the results are a list of task components and of necessary skills stated in teachable terms the teacher will know the parts of the task and the student has mastered along with those needing more instruction The quality of the procedure depends upon the teacher's expertise. The meaning and educational implications are clear and direct, and the results can be used to determine instructional objectives. Inventories examine how a student performs within a specific curriculum or within instructional material. They can be developed for a wide variety of skills in the classroom. and are often based on skill hierarchy since inventories are not standardized they apply only to students in a particular class or a specific curriculum they can be teacher constructed or commercially available the results are used to identify specific skills requiring instruction however interpretation of the full significance of mis items is difficult there may be a certain degree of subjectivity involved or in or inadequacy in the test design next the criterion reference test is very important crt is compare a student performance to a specified level of mastery or achievement they are available in most academic areas or can be constructed by a teacher and are appropriate for students learn learning specific skills crts may be grouped or individually administered test requirements are minimal the results are expressed in terms of skills mastered or not mastered at a certain level of proficiency sometimes scores are available the quality of criterion reference test is relatively difficult to establish They are useful in designing instructional programs because they supply information suggesting specific classroom goals and objectives. However, they tend to be time-consuming and tedious to administer. CRT is different. यहाँ तो difference आएगा. NRTs में CRTs के साथ में आएगा. Let's see what is this. 
CRTs differ from the norm reference set NRTs described earlier. NRTs are used to compare an individual's performance to that of peers through a variety of scores and offer an overview of general strengths and weaknesses in a skin area. For example, an NRT would indicate that a student's oral reading skills were significantly lower than those of classmates, while mathematics were not. The more specific CRTs can be used to analyze weak areas in more detail, for example, the Bregren Diagnostic Inventory of Basic Skills focuses upon specific skill areas such as phonics and outlines the extent of mastery. CRTs are thus of more assistance in program planning and monitoring progress. Next is diagnostic teaching. Diagnostic teaching is another informal form of assessment used to evaluate the differential impact of two instructional techniques. An educator systematically monitors the effects of a teaching strategy on student performance and compares it to the impact of another technique. Diagnostic teaching is a powerful form of classroom research and evaluation. Next is checklists and rating scale. Uh, this is uh, again another, another type of in, uh, informal strategy. Checklists and rating scales gather information in a variety of structured formats. They often obtain data not readily found with other techniques. They may be used by professionals, parents, or students with, an, with any subject matter. Checklists and rating scales may be formal in design or constructed by the teacher. They may yield descriptive or quantitative data depending upon format. The quality of the data depends upon such factors as precision of design and the veracity and judgment of the user. They can be difficult to interpret because of the lack of guidelines but can supply useful information for instructional programming. Above here interviews and questionnaires gather information not otherwise easily accessible. For, exa for example, parents may be, the inter may be interviewed and or, asked and or asked to complete a questionnaire concerning their child's developmental, academic and social history. Teachers' observations and professionals' and judgments can also be valuable. The use of information informants is advisable when children are too young to respond themselves but others have exclusive information by virtue of experience and virtue and opportunity or when one needs a broader objective perspective of the learning problem. Up next here, special students. Special educational assessment involves students referred to as handicapped by PL 94-142, that is those children evaluated as being mentally retarded, hard of hearing, deaf, speech impaired, visually handicapped, seriously emotionally disturbed, orthopedically impaired, and other impaired, deaf, blind, multi-handicapped, or as having specific learning disabilities who because of those impairments need special education and related services. PL 94-142. Uh, students qualifying for these services must receive a, a free and appropriate education from special educators and other professionals. The needs of students with three of these handicaps will be emphasized. The federal law recognizes the need for special services for the mentally retarded, emotionally disturbed, and learning disabled. 
along with other exceptional students the mildly or educable mentally retarded mildly emotionally disturbed or behavior disordered and learning disabled students comprise the largest group of all handicapped students about 7% of the total school age population and are frequently found in regular classrooms from an ed educational perspective these students share many common psychological academic and social problems requiring assessment in educational terms they are more alike than different Hala Kaufman and Lloyd 1985 consider the major distinction among the mentally retarded emotionally disturbed and learning disabled to be the frequency of particular problems the area of primary concern for a retarded student is the general intellectual functioning and adaptive behavior for the emotionally disturbed emotionally and social development and for the learning disabled academic and language disorders while mildly handicapped students may have problems in any of these areas each handicap is characterized by its own set of frequently occurring problems the educational assessment strategies described in this book are particularly applicable to mildly handicapped students Many of these procedures may also be used for students with other functionalities. However, educational assessment for the severely handicapped and for students with sensory and physical handicaps requires special considerations beyond the scope of this book. We will use the terms exceptional handicapped, mildly handicapped, and special interchange interchangeably. a next head team approach important educational decisions about handicapped students are made by a team rather than a single educator the team approach brings together individuals from different disciplines to contribute their expertise and make complex decisions the team may be composed of parents and other individuals representing education special education psychology speech pathology and medicine each team member gathers data about the student and interprets that pressures it from a professional perspective sharing it with the team the team then analyzes all contributions and attempts to render the most appropriate educational decision The team approach is not new to education, but it has gained impetus. Impetus का मतलब होता है I M P E T U S, something that provokes an activity. But it has gained impetus in recent years. P L 94 142 explicitly explicitly requires that teams rather than individuals make the following decisions. Number one, evaluation of students for placement in special education and related services. Number two, formulation of individualized education programs (IEPs). Number three, evaluation of IEPs. Number four, re-evaluation of special education placement. The membership of educational decision-making teams varies. different purposes require different numbers of team members and the representation of different disciplines for exa for example the team that assesses a student for eligibility for special services is likely to have more members than the team responsible for formulating the iep for the same student the needs of the student also influence team membership A student with several severe handicaps is likely to require a larger team representing more disciplines than a student with a mild handicap. Many individuals participate in educational teams. These participants make important contributions to the assessment and planning activities of the team. 
the special educator plays a significant role in combining their input into a unified profile of the student's needs. सबसे पहले जो टीम अप्रोच में आ रहे हैं स्कूल पर्सनल टीचर्स वेदर रेगुलर और स्पेशल एजुकेशन हु आर डायरेक्टली इन्वॉल्व विद द स्टूडेंट ऑन अ डे टू डे बेसिस आर नेसेसरी टीम मेंबर्स टीचर्स आर एबल टू प्रोवाइड इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन ऑल एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट डेवलपमेंट स्पेशली एकेडमिक परफॉर्मेंस एंड सोशल एंड इमोशनल स्टेटस रेगुलर क्लासरूम टीचर्स प्रोवाइड वैल्यूएबल इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट स्टूडेंट सोशल स्किल्स इन डीलिंग विद देयर पीयर दे कैन डिस्क्राइब द काइंड ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शनल प्रोग्राम एंड प्रोसीजर्स यूज इन द क्लासरूम देयर असेसमेंट प्रोसीजर्स ऑफन कंसिस्ट ऑफ ग्रुप एडमिनिस्ट्रेड अचीवमेंट टेस्ट इनफॉर्मल टेस्ट एंड इन्वेंट्रीज Consequently, they can describe how well the handicapped student is responding to group instruction compared to non-handicapped classroom peers. This information is particularly useful in considering whether the regular classroom is the best instructional environment for the student. Special students offer information about student performance at under specialized conditions their assessment procedures are generally more individualized they gather formal and informal data about academic language and behavioral problems this information when combined with the data from the regular classroom teachers allows a comparison of student performance regular and special educators can determine the need best met in the regular classroom along with those requiring special education services school administrators on educational decision making teams may include building principals Directors of special education or other supervisory personnel, building principals are often included to involve them in the education of handicapped students and thereby enlist their cooperation. Special education administrators are able to share their knowledge about the programs available in the school district or division. Administrators provide information about administrative options and particular students they know. So, अब next है parents and students. ये team approach के next है. The intent of PL 94142 is to involve the parents of the handicapped students and the students themselves when appropriate. In the educational decision making process parents have much to contribute to the team they are completely familiar with the child's behavior and have acted as a child's teacher in the parenting role like educators parents provide information on many aspects of the student's development they give details on the student past health and developmental history and social and emotional behavior in the room sorry in the home neighborhood and community they can be interviewed and can complete case history form if appropriate they can be observed at home while interacting with their child or talk together in formal observation about home behavior besides being mandated by PL 94142 parental participation on the team maximizes the chance that parents will support and become involved in the program the student can also provide information about all aspects of development 
students can relate their feelings, attitudes, goals, and aspirations. Student interviews often yield useful information. And next is school support personnel. Psychologists and speech language clinicians often support regular and special educators and are frequently members of educational decision making teams. Psychologists assess the student to determine eligibility for special education programs as well as gather related data. The school psychologist is usually responsible for giving and interpreting tests to determine general intelligence level. Psychological reports address concerns about level of ability and or expectancy for the student. Taking a specific skill involved in learning and emotional and behavioral status. When combined with the result of the academic report from teachers, psychological reports allow the team to compare a student's actual classroom achievement with some indications of potential ability as well as learning strategy. In planning a program for the student, psychologists can assist, sorry, assist in establishing reasonable goals and levels of expected performance as well as possible student reactions to different learning conditions. Speech language pathologists are involved in assessment and instruction of handicapped students with speech and or language disabilities. They are responsible for evaluating the communication skills of the student wrapping children to other specialists, providing services, and counseling others working with the child. Their assessment procedures are both formal and informal. They frequently solicit. F-O-L-I-C-I-T. Solicit ka matlab hota ask for. Solicit input from educators about a student's classroom speech and language performance. Special educators may screen for, special, for speech and language problems and supply their referral data to speech and language pathologists. Furthermore, knowledge of speech and language problems helps the team understand academic and behavioral problems with speech or language components. In planning the IEP, speech language specialists specify goals for the student and indicate how others can cooperate. For some handicapped students, speech language instruction is the only special relief service received. For others, it com accompanies other programs such as special classes or resource room services. And now the next case. Medical personnel. Medical information about the student is obtained from the student's physician, the school nurse, and other medical specialists. This information includes results of vision and hearing, screening, as well as the current physical status of the student. All students should be screened for possible vision and hearing impairments. This screening is generally carried out by the school nurse, who then refers students with possible problems to appropriate specialists. The results of screening and any subsequent evaluation are reported to the team by the school nurse. Of particular interest to the team is how vision and hearing problems affect assessment performance and subsequent programming. The school nurse or physician may also report information about any relevant health problems, conditions or diseases. 
कजेट्री शियन पी ई बी आई ए टी आर आई सी आई ए एन एस पेजिट्रीशियन का मतलब होता है ब्रांच ऑफ मेडिसिन डीलिंग विद चिल्ड्रन न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट साइकाइट्रिस्ट एंड अदर फिजिशियन मे बी इन्वॉल्व ऑल्सो ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज वेदर द स्टूडेंट इज प्रेजेंटली रिसीविंग एनी मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट सच एज ड्रग थेरापी 